stays here, at least for the next couple of hours. Given that rotten picture outside, let's go straight yeah. to the first forecast. Stephanie Mead, what's happening now? Well, we are looking at those showers now approaching the metro area. We saw at least that first burst of heavier rainfall and right behind that we're looking at some additional heavier showers. With that, we're not also not going to rule out a rumble of thunder as well. Luckily, the good news here is none of this stuff is severe and it's quickly racing towards the north northeast at around 20 to upwards of 30 miles an hour. So it's moving pretty quickly here across the metro area. We are looking at those showers approaching, say, the Anderson, Upland, Yorktown, Muncie area as uh, early as 9-11 and through around our 945 and heading a little bit further south, the beginning of those showers heading off towards, say, the Greenfield area, Shelbyville, and right around now, maybe give or take a couple of minutes and then off towards the Newcastle area just a little bit before our 10 o'clock hour. But we are looking at some of those heavier showers now, giving uh, some heavier rain back off towards, say, the Bloomfield area, extending all the way up towards Bloomington, where we're seeing some of those darker colors, the oranges and the yellows. That's where we're looking at some of the heaviest of rainfall right now. That's extending all the way up towards I-70 and even clipping parts of the metro area. Right now, we're dealing with your moderate rain showers, but the heaviest stuff, at least for what from the city, is not too far away. We're looking off towards, say, the Brownsburg area, dealing with some of those heavier rainfall at times along I-74. Now, again, within the next couple of minutes, we're going to get clipped by that here, at least across the immediate metro area. We're looking at precipitation rates, just over an inch of rain down towards our south. So it is giving some pretty decent rainfall down towards, say, the Bloomfield, the Bloomington area. You notice, though, it is this quick line. It's going to shift off towards the northeast, and then right behind it, we 